Welcome to the farms.com special report on the today's WASD report and grain stocks report. Uh, well, uh, again, the USDA uh, surprised us. Uh, market wasn't expecting this. Uh, we actually traded up overnight. And across the board, th this is a very bearish report. It looks like a, li a limit down move initially. That's the knee jerk reaction that the market's going to take. But you could find some buyers later in the day. So, again, the close is the more important. Um, today not the, the intraday high and low so let's start off with the corn corn you know up 14.1 percent here in the last uh, two to four weeks largely due to some dry weather in argentina but probably combination of a you know less liquidation from mf global going bankruptcy and and less fear from european debt crisis but today usda reports ending stocks come in at 846 million bushels that's two million less than last month but higher 96 million more than the expectation of 750 so based on expectations this was a bearish report production comes in higher uh, yields a little bit higher, 147.2. In fact, harvested acres also slightly higher, 0.1, but nonetheless higher, and the market's not going to like that number. Um, exports were increased by 50 million bushels to 1.650 billion bushels. Global corn production also up, and uh, USDA does lower Argentine production from 29 million metric tons to 26. So again, a very bearish report for corn beans. Soybean, if there's a surprise in this report, is soybean ending stocks up to 275 million bushels. That's um, 45 million bushels more than what the market was looking for. And last month at 230 million bushels. So um, unless, you know, Argentine weather gets uh, very uh, dry here in the next month and a half, it doesn't look good for soybean futures moving forward. We're going to have to probably see some major drops in planted acres here at the March planting intensive report at the end of March. Uh, global soybean production does drop a little bit. Argentine soybean production drops to 50.5 from 52 last month and Brazil drops from 75 to 74 million metric tons. Uh, that ending stocks number came in at the high end of expectations. The range was 127 to 285 and it came in at 275. So that's a bearish number. Wheat, if there's a if this report was neutral to any of the, the grains, it was wheat. Uh, pretty well um, met expectations. Uh, um, ending stock came in at 870 million last month. It was 878. Market was looking for 840, so a little bit bearish uh, on expectations. Uh, food uses was down 5 million. Exports up 25 million. Global wheat production continues to grow. We're swimming in wheat. It just gets worse. 691.50 million metric tons. Um, and then stocks came in at 1656, lower than expectations of 1.68 uh, billion bushels. So uh, again, overall bearish report. You're gonna have to look towards the March planning intentions report. Once we get past the report, the market's gonna have to probably turn to the outside markets, European news or Argentine weather to move much higher. But we're gonna do some damage on the charts today. So look for opportunities in the future. If you do get rallies, make sure you hedge 2012 because if we're gonna plant 94 million acres, that may bring too much production in the second half of 2012. Thanks for watching, take care.